the West Wales Handicap Chase, or West Wales National Handicap Chase, is next in, and this one is over three miles, four and a half furlongs. It's a 0 to 130, and the top one is Denevo for Darren Thompson. Merrill's Golly, Daniel French, watching carefully, Graham Clitterbuck, born to perform, Stu Gray, Motafare, Danai, Alex Cherry, Crossmaster, John Morgan, Vitruvian Hindsight, David Robertson, Shadow Play, Daniel French, Blooming Chaser, Darren Thompson, Slip Anchor, Paul O'Neill, Arbor Lodge, Paul Rhodes, Cashback, Alex Cherry, and All Mellow Ances. Martin Leedham, so 13 then in this. One will be lucky. And well, maybe two if it's a dead heat. They're away and racing in the rain. And Arbor Lodge just about the first to shoot. So they make their way down towards the first. That's a ditch, and we've lost something already. Blooming Chaser isn't obviously a Blooming Chaser because he fell. So it's fallen. So Blooming Chaser's gone up the first. And Slip Anchor leads into the second. Oh, gets over that one nicely with all mellow ounces. It's done its shadow play in second. Similar colours. And Merrill's Golly is third. As they get to the third fence. Oh, one or two down their nose, but they're all over it okay. And Slip Anchor is the leader by about four lengths or so. To Born to Perform. Just about showing in second, but there's about four or five in a line there. And you can take your pick which one's going to be in second on the turns. It's almost certainly going to be the one on the run on that shadow plate. For the man of many colours, Daniel French. And Merrill's Golly's third. And born to perform cross master. As they make their way towards the next, they've got three miles still to go. Over the fourth fence. And they're all over that one, okay. With slip anchor showing the way to Merrill's Golly and Shadow Play. Born to performance after that one. Then three in a line, cross master one of them as they take the fifth. And they're all safely over that one with Denevo, the top weight, just the back marker. And slip anchor trying to slip the field. And over the sixth they go. Leads by four lengths to Shadow Play in second. Golly as they take the seventh, and then all over that one, okay, as well. Jumping has improved considerably since the first couple of fences. They come up past the winning post in the big screen, and they've got twice more to go around yet. And Slip Anchor is the leader, so Slip Anchor in the lead, then Shadow Play is second, and Merrill's Golly is third. Lots of Fred Dunno is four, and Arbor Lodge is five, then Born to Perform of a True in High and Crossmaster, and then Watching Carefully, Cash Back, Denevo, and All Mellow Anties at the back. They're making their way towards the next fence then with Slip Anchor in the lead by oh, a couple of lengths to Shadow Play and Motafari, Danai and Merrill's Golly together and Arbor Lodge and Born to perform the grey Vitruvian high sight on the outside so they get to the next and they're all over that one as well with Denevo and all Mellow Ansys still sharing last place Plain one, and they're all jumping that one nicely as well. With slip anchor still in front. At this ditch, and again, they're all nicely over it. Short run to the next, and slip anchor will lead into it. It's over while Shadow Play jumped it slowly and is losing a little bit of ground. Slip anchor. Jump on Merrill's Golly in second. I've seen that one get much closer. Born to perform. He's creeping into it. Then Vitruvian hindsight, the grey on the outside. Harbour Lodge. And the pale jacket is next. Shadow plays drop right back. The first of the Alex Cherry horses is Motafare Danai. The other one cross mass. The other one was watching carefully. The other one with cash back. And the back two are Denevo and Ormello Ansis still. towards the next fence and a slip anchor over it in front from the truly in hindsight second Merrill's Golly's third all these runners still going well within themselves as they take the 14th and with a slow jump there by Shadow Player seeing that one now virtually last after being right up there in the lead 
is going to shake that one back up and bring it back through again or not, I don't know. They jump over the next. Uh, Shadow play jumped that one much better, but went into a little bit of a dead end. We go on board to perform. It slip anchor at this next one, even a good jump by Vitruvian Einstein. All Meadow Ounces nearly went at the back. But slip anchor passes the winning post in the lead for the second time. It's the third time that counts though. And Crossmaster has moved through from nowhere into second. So slip anchor then in front, Crossmaster second. Vitruvian Einstein, Merrill's golly. And Shadow Play now getting back into it again after being given a little bit of a breather. Slip anchor. Led all the way so far. Look at this shadow play. It's right back through in a second again. Dropping back to virtually last. And it's now challenging for the lead. It's probably just about poked its head in front. So shadow play and slip anchor over that next one. A mistake by Crossmaster. Merrill's golly is still going well. Born to performs drop back now. The rest of them are bunching up to top weight Denevo. He's trying to get going as well as they take the 18th. And it's shadow play for Merrill's God, who's now gone second. Then Slip Anchor's back in third. Crossmaster is fourth. Then Arbor Lodge. Then Cashback with Trubian Einstein as they take that ditch. And over that one they go. We lost one there. Cashback's gone. So Cashback's out of it. Don't get any cashback on that one. And shadow plays in the lead from Merrill's Golly. Over the next they go then. And it's shadow play in front. Merrill's Golly second. Crossmaster and Slip Anchor third and fourth. Then comes Arbor Lodge. Watching carefully. He's trying to get it. All Meadow Ounces is getting closer over the 21st they go and it's Merrill's Golly's turn to poke ahead in front now that's a Merrill's Golly shadow play then Crossmaster on the outside Slip Anchor's now come right off the fence going wide on the track watching carefully bursting through and look at the grave Vitruvian hindsight making ground as well wide open race the top weight Denevo is now coming around the pack as well so anything could still take this one Merrill's Golly shadows play watching carefully they've still got a fair old way to go Vitruvian hindsight is going well the grey then after that one Denevo and Cross Master born to perform all meadow ounces. They're racing down now towards the next fence. It's the fourth from home, I think, and they come Shadow Player Merrill's Golly. Shadow Play lands in the lead. Merrill's Golly jumps it better. Mistake by watching carefully. Top weight Denevo is going really well. Also trying to run on his all meadow ounces. But it's Shadow Player Merrill's Golly. Shadow Player and the purple jacket on the inside. Merrill's the mistake by Denevo just as he was getting going. Vitruvian hindsight is now trying to throw down a challenge as well. Cross Master still there. And it's still Merrill's Golly and Shadow Player. Then two to jump. Shadow Play. Merrill's Golly, Merrill's Golly lands in the lead from Shadow Play. We've got one more fence to take on a short running. Denevo, the top weight, has got going again after that mistake. And Denevo now comes to take it up over the final fence and jumps it really well, gets away from it well. And top weight, Denevo is putting up a brilliant performance to take this. Up towards the line, Denevo takes it. Merrill's Golly second watching carefully was after that ball to perform. Finished fast as well. But the top weight, Denevo. Made a mistake. Two out. Recovered well enough to take it under the big weight and pretty decent performer. That quite sure where that'll go at Cheltenham. Like it needed all the three and a half miles, didn't it? Let's take a look. It's Denevo for Darren Thompson off 12 stone, takes it. Merrill's Golly for Daniel French and a good race in second. Watching carefully for Graham Crucible, third. Born to perform for Stu Gray was fourth, and Crossmaster for John Morgan was fifth.